Architectural hardscape, the Lake Wilcox Park Waterfront Promenade in Richmond Hill. Would the following team members please come to the front to receive their awards? The Corporation of the Town of Richmond Hill, Dillon Consulting, R.J. Burnside and Associates Limited, Rutherford Contracting Limited, UCC Group Inc., Inicon, Stonelink Corp., and Ed's Concrete Products Limited. The Lake Wilcox Waterfront Promenade is one piece of a large master plan that includes multiple phases and projects that demonstrate initiative in protecting, preserving, and enhancing the inherent natural resources of the complex Oak Ridges Moraine site. While balancing the recreational needs of the community on the waterfront parkland setting. The promenade is 450 meters long and approximately 4 meters wide. Portions of the promenade are made of poured in place concrete, colored concrete, precast concrete, unit pavers, and custom precast pavers. And the park entry signs are also faced with precast concrete panels. The promenade at Lake Wilcox Park showcases many artistic concrete applications, which highlight the main themes of the park's design, water, wildlife, and the cultural history of this beloved place. Would a speaker please come forward? Thank you. Um, I'm Ian Dance. I'm a landscape architect and a partner with Dillon Consulting. And uh, our team is extremely pleased to receive this award. Uh, I'd like to thank the Ontario Concrete Awards uh, for recognizing the Lake Wilcox project. Uh, we've been uh, at this for uh, quite a few years, uh, since 2006, and so we believe that uh, we're reaching a point where we've created quite a unique project and very pleased that it's uh, been recognized here tonight. Um, I'd just like to go through some of the features of the site and the park. Um, uh, the promenade is part of a larger master plan that has been underway since 2006 and includes uh, multiple phases of projects that create a balance between the natural ecology of the unique waterfront setting on the Oak Ridges Moraine with the recreational, de recreational demands of the prime recreational park site in the expanding Oak Ridges community. So the, the two components are certainly very demanding. The project that you're seeing here is the phase one promenade project that really represents the core or the link that ties all of the different projects of this site uh, together. And uh, it's really an opportunity to create a new exciting waterfront space in Richmond Hill. In the GTA, you don't necessarily expect other than Lake Ontario to find a waterfront setting like this. And uh, we've said from day one, it's an extremely unique site. It's a beautiful uh, scenic location and it deserved a, a unique solution as well. The site has a rich cultural history of settlement, recreation, and based on con extensive consultation with residents, stakeholders, First Nation representatives, and a lot of historic research. Uh, key themes of human settlement within the natural environment inspired the waterfront promenade design. The main component of the waterfront park is a half kilometer, four meter wide concrete promenade that links communities at both ends of the park site a new community park center, an ecological shoreline restoration, a canoe club, major water play facility, playgrounds, and picnic facilities. All in, all enclosed, all in, encompassed, it's quite a unique space with a lot of remarkable features at this site. Along the waterfront promenade, a series of uh, terraced lookouts uh, are created and they celebrate themes of nature, recreation, Aboriginal settlement, European settlement, and each of these themes is expressed through the constructed landscape, art features, and built through the concrete uh, products that uh, we used. The concrete work provides the framework for the site development and was applied in an artistic and innovative approach to help illustrate the design and site themes in the many structures, site furnishings, site artwork, and the paving. 
Driven by the public request to maintain the natural character of the setting, the main concrete promenade was constructed of different repeating strong earth tones, colors to enhance the natural quality of the site and partly reflect the sense of a wooden uh, boardwalk in a natural setting. And um, the promenade features an accent band of stone link pavers to further diminish the visual width of the promenade while accommodating the large volume of pedestrian and operational requirements along this route. Uh, we included a dark gray blue water uh, wave pattern uh, inset and formed within the main promenade that highlights entry points to the waterfront and to the water's edge. Uh, it reinforces the theme connection of water on this site. Uh, the stone link pavers were used as well, had key gateway entrances and uh, key locations along the promenade. And these patterns were derived from consultation with First Nations, found in the clothing, some of the moccasins and some of the different patterns that were found in, in their cultural history and that was translated into the paving uh, patterns on the site. The theme of journey evolved in that there's been extensive human settlement on this site and uh, the idea that the journey continues. Uh, we looked at uh, embedding uh, both human footprints and wildlife tracks along the entire walkway. There's a series of different uh, impressions that uh, reflect the different uh, wildlife species that are found in this location. Um, there are a series of inspirational quotes that uh, come from historic uh, sources and more contemporary sources that also reflect on the natural environment and the uh, cultural heritage of this site and they are, as you can see right here, uh, uh, basically uh, etched into the uh, concrete uh, benches and into the paving. Uh, there are a number of other key components, uh, park precast panels that embedded wildlife symbols uh, at the gateway entrances and uh, custom pavement that uh, again reflected some of the different themes and the different locations along the walkway are, are, were created in a series of uh, custom paving stones. Long concrete benches provide seating, accommodate the quotes, and uh, again, uh, help form the overall framework for this entire site. Uh, the development of the park has certainly been a, an extremely collaborative process, uh, working with the town of Richmond Hill, our firm, R.J. Burnside, to develop the design approach, I include the public, as they were extensively involved in the workshops along the way, and uh, the, the, the three groups uh, preparing uh, definitely the uh, contractual uh, component of the project and overseeing the development. We had an excellent team uh, in the implementation. Rutherford Contracting as the main contractor. UCC was involved in, the, uh, in completing most of the concrete work. We have Ed's uh, concrete that uh, basically created some of the custom uh, precast panels uh, throughout the site. Uh, we have Stonelink as well, and the concrete was supplied by Inacon Lafarge uh, that helped us get the uh, intensive colors that we wanted in the promenade. And uh, I think I've probably taken up enough time. Thank you very much. <laughs>